Hello, you are welcome. How to find the value of x in this nice exponential equation? Here, you can write what we have here as x raised to the power minus 1 when we separate it out here. Then times x raised to the power x is now equals to 2 raised to the power root 2. Then here, this same thing as writing what we have a raised to power n times n, we can equalize it as a raised to power n times n. So here, this multiply is now we can interchange it and say this is x raised to power x raised to power x n times here we have minus one, then equals to two raised to power root two from here. Then in the next step, we can separate this out from here. That is what we have here. This is a raised to power n times n. We can write it as a raised to power n then raised to power n. So here it implies we can write it as x raised to power x raised to power x then raised to power minus one from here which is equal to two raised to power root two then here let's multiply both sides with power of minus one that is here we have x raised to power x raised to power x raised to power minus one then multiply by power of minus one again then also on this side we have two raised to power root two then raised to power minus 1. That is, here, yeah, this power, when it's multiplied, we now have minus 1 multiply minus 1, which will be plus 1. So here, yeah, we can write this as x raised to power x raised to power x, then raised to power 1 now, huh? which is now equals to here yeah, also. This minus multiply this with 2 and we can write this as 2 raised to the power minus root 2 from here. Then also here we can separate this minus root 2 as minus 1 times root 2. And this here becomes x raised to the power x raised to the power x then raised to the power 1. Is now equals to 2 raised to the power minus 1 then times root 2 from here then which also we have this power separated then we have it as x raised to the power x raised to the power x here from here which is now equals to 2 raised to the power minus 1 then raised to power root 2 from here. Then from here, we can write 2 raised to power minus 1 as 1 over 2. And this here becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 2. Then raised to power root 2 on this side. Then from here, we write root 2 here as root 2 times root 2 over root 2. That is, if root 2 cancel root 2 here, we still have root 2. And from here, we can multiply that and say this is root 2 square, then over root 2. And here, square cancel square roots, and this gives us 2 over root 2. That is here we can write root 2 as 2 over root 2 then here we have x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 2 raised to power 2 over root 2 then from here as well we can write 2 over root 2 and separate it as 2 times 1 over root 2 
at this here, this can be written as x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to half then raised to power 2 times 1 over root 2 from here and also we can bring this power in as x raised to power x raised to power x equals to now we have half raised to power 2 then outside here we have raised to power 1 over root 2 then from here this means we square root of this and 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so we have x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 then raised to power 1 over root 2 then here this same thing as x raised to power x raised to power x equals to 1 over 4 raised to power half then raised to power half because here when we have 1 over n root of a this same thing as 1 over a raised to power 1 over a that is 1 over root 2 there we can write this as half raised to power half from this you know rule from here then it implies from here that the half we have here we can write it as equivalent fraction of 2 over 4 that is this becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 then raised to power half then raised to power 2 over 4 then also 2 over 4 here we can write it as 2 times 1 over 4 and which will become x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 then raised to power half then raised to power 2 times 1 over 4 then also 1 square here is 1 2 square is 4 then it implies that we have x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 then also it is raised to power 1 over 4 and when we look at this pattern from here we have x raised to power x raised to power x same number and also here 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 so here clearly we can see that x now equals to 1 over 4 from here and here we have come to the end of this class and thank you for watching don't forget to step subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video and give it thumbs up and see you next class and bye for now